A polynomial is an algebraic expression It can have exponents, but the exponents have to be whole numbers. So a term is a part of the expression. Just like a term is a part of a sequence, a term is a part of an expression. So polynomials, you'll see when I start doing some more examples. So there's different types of polynomials. There's a monomial. Now, mono, the prefix means one. So a monomial has one term. Here are some examples of monomials. 3x. You could have a monomial that's 5x squared. 4 is a monomial. These, one term, one term, one term. The next one is called a binomial. So think of a bi as two, like a bicycle has two wheels. Binomial has two terms. So here are examples of binomials. 3x plus 5, 2x squared minus 1, 5x cubed plus minus 8. These all have two terms, one, two, one, two, one, two, two terms, binomial. A trinomial has three terms, like a tricycle has three wheels. So three terms, 2x squared plus 4x minus 5. There are three terms. This is a term, this is a term, this is a term. So if something has three terms, they're separated by two plus or minuses. If it has two terms, there's one plus or minus in between. So determine if the following expressions are monomials, binomials, or trinomials. So this has two terms, so it's a binomial. This one is one term. There's no plus or minuses that are separating them. So this is a monomial. This one, there are three terms, because they're separating by two plus or minuses, first term, second term, third term. So it's a trinomial. The D, there's one term, so one term is a monomial. This one has three terms, so it's a trinomial. And then this one is a binomial. And then that part. Evaluate each polynomial for m equals 8 and p equals negative 3. So we're going to plug in m is 8 and p is negative 3. So remember, when I do the parentheses, or negative, put it in parentheses. So now you do order of operations 2 times 8 is 16. 16 times negative 3 is negative 48. And then this one, 3 times 8 minus 2 times negative 3. So order of operations do 3 times 8, which is 24, minus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So 24 minus negative 6 is 24 plus 6, which is 30. Still, I'm going to evaluate, so x is negative 2 and y is 5. Okay, you have 5 on the top and the bottom, and they're being multiplied, so you can cancel those out, so it's negative 2. Or you could do negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Next one, I'm going to plug in parentheses. So negative 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 15 is 19. The next one, 2 times 5 squared minus 2 times negative 2. So on this one I need to do 5 squared first, which is 25. So it's 2 times 
times 25 minus 3 times negative 2 is negative 4. So I have these two negatives right here. It's going to make it a positive. So 50 plus 4 is 54 is my answer. And the last one. The polynomial negative 16t squared plus 40t, 140t gives the height in feet reached by a firework after t seconds. If the firework explodes 4 seconds after the launch, at what height, so what is the height, does it explode? I should say it. At what height? So we're trying to find the height. So the height is equal to this expression. But we know the firework explodes 4 seconds later. So let t equal 4. So I'm going to do negative 16, 4 squared, plus 140 times 4. So this negative 16 times 16 is negative 256, plus... 140 times 4, so 140 times 4 is 560. So 560 plus negative 256 is 304, and we're talking about feet. That's the height, so 304 feet is the answer.